It's a revolution of the mind this is Kabaka Pyramid from Kingston, Jamaica. Representing for the art of the people, you know. At 78 Radio, Worldwide World. You yeah, man, them for no King's last year, rain and rule. Hot 78 Radio. Okay, big up to everybody. This is your Black Star Line Ready Show. Este es DJ Alarcón de Hot 78 Radio. Tenemos ya en la casa a Kabaka Pyramid. We have right now to Kabaka Pyramid from Kingston, Jamaica. Big up, big up, my brother. How's everything? Blessed love. Today I give thanks for life, you know. How's the weather right now in Jamaica? It's raining. <laughs> you know, funny enough, I'm actually I'm actually in, in Miami um, doing some work with Damien on my second album. So not in Jamaica right ah, now, okay. but, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In here in Costa Rica, in the, in the soul, soul Pacific, it's raining right now? It's raining now, seeing. Yeah, but it's... Lots of hurricanes in the region lately, you know? The, the, the hurricanes, it doesn't affect directly here in yeah, Costa Rica. Good. Thanks God for that. <laughs> of course, we we'll get some rain. Yeah, because we are in Central America and uh, all the hurricanes goes to the United States. They go, they go north. Yeah, yeah exactly. go north. Sometimes they pass Jamaica and then go up. Exactly, my friend. Okay, yeah, let's man. start with the, with the interview, my friend. First of all, I, I want to give thanks first to the Lord to have you in here, a uh, great artist. We played a lot of, of music of Kawaka Pyramid. This is Kawaka Pyramid dance. from Kingston, Jamaica, representing for the art of the people, you know, at 78 Radio, Worldwide World. You yeah, man, them for no King's last year, Irene and Rue. Okay. Oh, the jingle, turn up, man. Yeah, yeah, the jingle, the jingle. It's, it's an old jingle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds like a young Kabaka. <laughs> yeah, the young Kabaka with short hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes. Okay, my friend, your your real name is Karen Salmon, right? Yes, I I was looking for information at Wikipedia. It doesn't appear your age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes <laughs> I have to keep it hidden still. But okay, you want to no, keep man, it in... I just, no, man, I'm, I'm 35, 35 years old. Okay, 35, okay. You want to keep it in secret? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes, you know. Okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, my friend, can you tell us about your your childhood? How was your childhood? Me and I had a good childhood. Grew up in Kingston, Jamaica. You know, two loving parents. I um, had an older brother and then another younger brother for our dean when I was around eight years old or so. So, you know, I grew up three three boys with mom and dad and then mom and mom separated, mom and dad separated, but, you know, still, still, you know, a good, solid family and, and had a lot of love growing up from both parents and things. And, you know, I always loved music, loved sports. You know, played like four different sports in high school. You know, I had a, a large group of friends where we, we love music and we used to go out and we used to keep parties and we used to play upon sound. You know, I have a little sound system named Time Bomb Sound and was in high school and thing. And that's kind of how we start into the music thing, you know. Which sport uh, did you like to, to play, my friend? Yeah, I mean, I love playing music. I, I, I used to select some time and I used to like make the remixes. It's them time when, when, when people start put the reggae vocals over the hip-hop beats them and things like that. So we used to love doing them thing there, you know? Okay, sorry about the, the question. It, the question was uh, the uh, sport that you, you told that you like the sports. Play, play what, some the Spurs? Sp yeah, Spurs. Ba basketball. Basketball, uh, soccer, whatever. No, man, I don't like the Spurs. Oh, sports. Sports. Yeah, man, I love sports, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the Spurs. Like, <laughs> No, man, I love sports. I love football. 
Um, where we call it football in Jamaica. Um, but recently, I started to watch even American football too. But definitely, you know, soccer, football, and basketball is the, the two primary sports where I love. I also watch some tennis, you know, track and field, you know, world champs, Olympics, them things that we love. I used to run in school. I used to play table tennis, football, and basketball. Okay, okay. Yes, I. Okay, uh, tell us about your influence in in the music. Uh, I was reading, uh, you like hip hop music. I'm a lover of hip hop. Tell us about yeah, uh, your, your, your influence in the hip hop music. Yeah, well, I love hip hop. We started when we got cable TV in 96. That is when I started listening to hip hop. I just started high school and started watching BT and MTV and seeing like Biggie Smalls and Puff Daddy and Mace and them man, they was the first oh. artist them were really, them was dominating at the time. Biggie just, Biggie just died, you know what I mean, that earlier that year. And I just started listening to music right after Biggie died. And, and you know, I, I gravitated towards the East Coast kind of, you know, Nas, Nas, I have Nas here. Them. Yeah, well, okay. love Nas, you know. Mm. Ah, see there. Yeah, yeah I am. That's uh, that's I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This Can't one, tell. Notorious B.I.G. Nice. That's life after death. Yes, yes. Yeah, life man. Yeah, death. man. We, yeah, man. We love them album. Them. I love them album. I was a big Wu Tang fan. I have a lot Wu-Tang of Wu Tang forever. Yeah, Wu Tang. Yeah, Wu Tang. Thirty six chambers forever. Jiza, Ghostface, Rayquan. Yeah, I have Love all that all disc. Them. I have I have all the nice. vinyls in here. Nice. The 36th Chamber, the Wooten Forever. Nice. Many 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 sounds. Uh, singles of the artist Capadona, Godface Killer. I love, nice. I, love I, met Capadonna. I met I met Capadonna in 2006 when I went to a, a Rock the Bell show in Miami. Yeah. And and I, I got a backstage pass and they signed my wallaby shoes like all the Wu Tang members. And Nas was on the show and Wu Tang I headlined the show. So I got to meet all of them and shake them hand and I got to talk to Capadana for a good couple like five minutes, you know. My friend, you have a big tune with, with Chief Rick Wong, right? Rick Wong. Yeah, my big Sammy Rayquan, <laughs> yeah. What is if I uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, I have him here. Okay, passing to the next question, my friend sure do you start in music as a dj yeah as a as a like selector sound man sound man dj you know for sure that's that's how we get to start into the music and then quickly like my brother learned how to to make beats and he taught me how to make beats and how to record so i used to because i used to know the computer program them to make the remixes and thing it was easy for me to learn how to record myself And you know what I mean to make beats and them things. So from early, from like 2002, that's when I start to, to mess around with them things there. But from I would say from 2000, we did start the sound thing. So for about two years, it was just strictly sound business. You know what I mean going out, play out at parties and them kind of thing. You know. Okay, okay, yeah. As a you started as a as a selector right yeah a selector. selector okay okay i'm starting as a dj i love the music i love to mixing make a scratching and everything yeah, yeah yeah i never i never so good with the scratching like i used to try it but i never <laughs> I never so good with the mixing at all but i used to talk on the mic and i used to i, I used to select and i used to make the do some of the stuff in the background i met the rim i used to make the mix cds and them things that too Okay, okay. Yeah, it's difficult. The, the the technique of scratch is difficult. For me it's difficult. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a professional, but you yeah, know, I'm yeah. try to and try to make some scratch. The baby scratch like woo 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's called yeah, something say, the crap. Just push your fingers in the fader. It's, it's difficult. You have to to make a True, good man. good movement. Okay, good my friend. Timing. Yeah, the timing So how you start as a songwriter and an artist after the being selector? Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. It's just I always, I always love the, the more lyrical artists. Them. So I used to like, I used to recite the lyrics from from the like the rappers like Cannabis and Big Pun. I used to rap it back word for word, like master it and things. So I used to, I the first the first time I started writing it was like hip hop because I used to listen it so much, you know, because I couldn't really sing. So I used okay. to listen whole heap of sizzler and, and try to sing, but I couldn't really sing. So like the rapping was easier for me. So I used to start, you know, just crazy lyrics, 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 no chorus, no hook, just verse and lyrics. And okay. then eventually, eventually I just started to evolve as an artist and as a vocalist and experiment more with the singing side and the chanting and the DJ and like dance all DJ style. And eventually it does grow, you know. Okay, my friend. Can you tell us about your your artist name? I was reading, but I, I want to know the people, the audience of, of Hat 78 knows the yeah. meaning of Kawaka Pyramid. Well, Kabaka means king in Uganda. It, it has various meanings all over Africa. Different countries have different meanings for Kabaka. But as a Rasta youth, I wanted an African name. So I looked up that name and I found that it means king. And I just felt a connection to the name at the time. And, you know, I've, I've always been studying ancient Egypt and the, the pyramids and the, 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 the achievement of black civilization in, a, in a Egypt. And the pyramids is one of the major monuments them in the world today. So I always felt a connection to the pyramid. And and yeah, just join the two together to make Kabaka pyramid, you know. Okay, my friend. Okay, let's talk about your your first EP. It goes Rebel the, Music. Rebel Music, exactly. Yes, I that so that was that was a, a, a collaborative effort because around the time I just started to to, to figure out the fusion with the reggae and the hip-hop and I, I did a song called better must come with color fire where i made this i made this kind of hip-hop beat and as you know i started to sing j this thing over it and color fire sang the chorus and i did the verse them with color and it was just it just felt like a good fusion with the reggae and the hip-hop and and protege heard the song Janine brought him to the studio and, and Protege heard the song and him just liked the vibes and him really said, yo, he more help me to put together a project and him have some beats, you know, him have some rhythms that producers were sending to him that he couldn't really use because he was doing his album with Dan at the time. So he gave me some rhythms. Some of them was produced by Zing Fence, who I didn't know at the time, which is Chronics and Teflon. Chronics was just starting to record as an artist at the time too. So Warrior, I Alone, Real Music, those were Kranix and Teflon made those rhythms. And his protege gave them to me. And even the song that you just played was a, a young producer named King Biggs who prote protege gave me that rhythm too. And I did some rhythms myself like Free From Chains, Ready For The Road. Um, I, I produced Prophecy as well. You know, so it was just an organic thing. I recorded all the songs myself. I mixed them myself. I did the artwork for the project myself. And we just kickstart the reggae music thing as Bebe Rock. You know what I mean? It was our first full reggae project as Bebe Rock music. Because we did reggae hip-hop stuff before. But this was the first reggae one. But with a heavy hip-hop influence. You know? Yes, this this is, is not... For me, it's not e e IP. It's like an album. Because... There is a yeah, lot of music yeah. like this one. Ten tracks. Yeah, the song. It called the sound. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's how the sound when the rhyme reach me. In my mind, if the rhyme please me, then my find time for put it on the right beat feet. Dig it, dig it, bone nine feet deep for fine. After, and after of that EP, you release yeah. the next one is called Lick, Lick the Way. 
tell us about that that project my friend so so after we did rebel music like a lot of different producers started to reach out and sending rhythms juggling rhythms singles different things like that and you know we had some good success with some of them like you no know, capitalists with chimney records and you know a bunch of other stuff i did with like king kabaka with um with equinox and liberal opposer with green lion but all of these things came out as separate releases and some of them we, we felt didn't get the attention that they deserve so we decided you now as our camp to 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 put these music together and do a compilation and license them from the producers and get the rights to them and and we just release it ourselves as a project so it end up with 13 tracks you know in all and and it just worked out very well for us it, it end up number one on the itunes chart a bunch of itunes chart all around the world and it was number three on the billboard and it was just it was just a compilation project but you know we put a lot of effort in promoting it and thing and and it, it worked out very well for us you know okay yes good 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 album i have i have i, the, I have the i'm not seeing you i'm not seeing you anymore yeah Okay, hold on. Yeah. Well, the spitting is spectacular, lyrical, bringing back original styles of vile. Them are arrest me as a criminal. Pyramid may take you to the pinnacle from analog to digital. Prescribe another for pain to your physical. Pinpoint accuracy, accurate. The system is a vacuum. Make me broke it like ejaculate, immaculate. Pull them up a quaker like a party bread. Fire on the passive, them are attacking. Yes, sir. Okay. GPS tracking them and trapping them. Trapping yes, them I am here by myself. <laughs> 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 I, have to, I have to control everything here. I know yeah. how it feel, man. I know how it feel when I'm in the studio by myself. I do everything, you know. Yeah, this this radio station is a is a family it's a family radio. We have a lot of DJs in around the world. I nice. start I start uh, four years ago with this project as a hobby. Okay. As a hobby, it still is a hobby because we don't receive any money. The only good thing, okay. the payment is make interviews with artists like you, my friend. That's, that's the, nice. the, the big payment for me. That's a joy. And, yeah, man, and, give thanks, man. And the love that we receive for all, all the listeners and, and, er, and everybody around the world, my friend. Yeah, man, I talk to people in Costa Rica and they say it's a top station, one of the best, you know? Yes, yes, that we, we, work, we, we, hard, we work hard, hard, hard. Uh, Many, yeah, many, man, many people thanks. of the crew. I have a other other brothers working with with me and and many friends, and that's why we call a family because you know we yeah. we share the same vibe with the same music, and we love the music also. Nice, yeah, man. Give thanks. Okay, my friend. Um, the next question is: What's the feeling of perform with the baby's rockets? The Debbie Rockers, yeah, you know, it's a great feeling, man. We love to perform live music. Matter of fact, ever since I entered into the, the music scene and thing, there was a big live music movement in Jamaica with everybody farming bands and, you know, Roots Underground and Uprising Roots, Dub Tonic, you know, and then, you know, Protege Farm Indignation. You know, I farm baby rockers, chronics with zinc fence redemption, and everybody does farm bands. And it was always a great emphasis on live music. Cause we feel like that's the best way to present reggae music and in its truest form. And it, it, I grew as an artist performing as a live musician, you know what I mean? With live musicians and things. And, you know, touring on some of the biggest reggae stages around the world is just a great feeling. There's such love for, for, for even the band members themselves become superstars and things in their own right. And it's just a joy to share that and on the road and tour for months as a family. It's just a great feeling. And I love being on the road, you know. Okay, my friend. Uh, so it's obvious you prefer the band of the, uh, than, than a DJ. The DJ is cool, but you know, it's better to feel so, sometimes. All the sometimes sometimes the dj thing is like i don't know the, the dj thing nice it have a different vibe but with 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 bands it's like if i want to stop and i want to talk 
I can start back at any time. I, I can just kind of relax and just control the show. But you know the track, once you start the track, you just have to go with the time in uh, the track. You know what I mean? And you have to do things at a set time and you can't really just free flow and thing. You have to pull up the song and do it again from the if I pull up a song, I can start it back from the middle with the band, you know? Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a different vibe. But my love, you know, we come from sound system culture. So when I did when I did um, Reggae on the River with Walchi Fire, it was, a, it was a great, great show. Like some people tell me it's the best show they've ever seen in life. You know what I mean? And we did some sound system shows in Europe with Chase and Status. And that was another great experience. And yeah, we love that too. You know, we love both sides, but the band really special. Okay, my friend, talking about the concerts, did you visit many nations like uh, Central America, of course, Europe, United States? You, per yeah, you did perform at the shows like Reggae on the ri River in in USA yeah. Rebel Salute we went to Rebel Salute this year my friend nice we we was the first the first radio in Costa Rica to to cover to cover that that event it was funny because nice. my my brother he want to to go to for vacation in Jamaica yeah and and our other friend and I, I i told him i'm gonna ask to the rebel salute for a for the for the media accreditations and send <laughs> a, a tons of emails we going to go blah 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 and they they give us a, a yeah, the, the accreditation it nice. was a good experience at the rebel salute yes my friend yeah, man it's a nice festival man it's a nice it's always growing getting bigger and bigger and I love how them support the, the ganja industries and thing and, and the, the education around the medicinal and the recreational aspects of the herb and thing. It's, it's a great, you know, Tony Rebel really do a lot for the industry, keeping it roots and keeping it homegrown, you know? Yeah, he say, he say here, said you was at the at Rototon Sun Splash and Musa in Portugal, Summer Jam yeah, man. in Germany. Uh, reggae reggae song, jam. Yeah, reggae song fest, reggae song that's in Netherlands, in, uh, reggae song ska festival in France, uh, so by so west in USA and Boon Boon Town in UK in United Kingdom. Yeah, man. Tell us about uh, about all the experience, about the vibes, the different vibes of the people, of the crowd, and, and the different, yeah, different yeah. nations around the world, my friend. I mean, you know, it's, it's amazing to see how people gravitate towards reggae music. You know, it play, we got to some places in like Eastern Europe where they don't speak any English, and but they still know the music and they appreciate the message and the rootical vibration in the music. Because it's a spiritual thing and reggae music is like a spiritual thing. And I think people, people connect with that, that ancient spirit that we channel through the music and thing. And, You know, you go to different place and it's just different, you know, different crowd of different kind of vibes, but it's still all a love vibration. You know, sometimes in Jamaica, you find like it, the, the crowd them a little more, you have to really, you have to really work hard to get the crowd them to move sometimes because the crowd them in Jamaica, them so used to reggae music. They see it all the time, you know, so you have to be really special. You know, while you go to some places where them don't get reggae music all the time. So once them have it, it's like them just love it and excited and the crowd just a make noise no matter what, you know. So it's, it's just different vibe. But, you know, we love to perform on the road and it's, it's amazing that somebody who grew up and not even able to sing like that can be touring and doing all of the biggest reggae festivals in the world and It's not like I come from a, a real, like, you know, music industry family or anything like that. We just figure it out. Me and my friend them from high school and we just go through the journey of the music to the point where, you know what I mean? I can support myself in a music. I can help out my family and it's just a great feeling, you know? Okay. Talking about the concert, uh, how's, how you feel the vibe here in Costa Rica, about the culture, the reggae culture, the people? 
Tell us Yo, about I love that. the vibes in Costa Rica. I've been to Costa Rica, I think, three times. And every time is always a great vibe from the crowd. Like, the people really know the music. You know what I mean? I remember one of the best feelings I had was when I did this club. I don't remember what the club name, but I did this club and Corofire was there. No, Corofire wasn't there, but... Maybe it was Ver- Vertigo? Vertigo, no? Vertigo, I think it was Vertigo. And and I heard them, a sound was playing um, Corofire song, New Day, in the warm-up. And when I hear everybody in the audience sing, New Day, it's a uh-huh. new day. I mean, I say, yo, it's the first I really hear a song that I produce, get that kind of reaction in a dance. And it's Costa Rica my, my experience that for the first time, you know what I mean? So, them, them, me really appreciate how people love the music there and in tune with the new dance hall and the new reggae and listen to all of the old classical reggae as well and it's just a, a good balance, you know? Okay, my friend, uh, we have in, in, in this show, Black Star Line, we have a challenge. <laughs> A yeah, challenge. What that now? Okay, my friends, the challenge is I'm gonna play one original vinyl, a one beat, one instrumental. Yeah. Maybe you can give us a little bit of freestyle or or remix on the on the on, on this track. It's okay for you, you can do that my friend. I can try, I don't know how the timing I'll go work with the With the delay because of the recording, but I can try. Okay, okay, just try. I know it's gonna it's gonna sounds good All because right. I'm yeah, recording I'm here. I am recording everything. It's gonna sounds good. The track is from Mob Deep, right? <laughs> Mob Deep. Nice. And it's this one, my friend. Rest in, Rest peace. in peace, the prodigy. Prodigy, prodigy. yeah, the same, the same, the same thinking yeah, right now. Prodigy, it's this one, my friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Skip it, bang. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the one on him, Kabaka Pyramid, Kabaka Pyramid, we still alive, alright then. Well, if I time for the truth, then you know me, you're the teacher, Kabaka Pyramid, a big enough Costa Rica, make them know, say we have the lyrical teacher and the heat seeker, eh? Hey, and make Babylon know, say them for stop fight the youth, them, and make them know, say we attack the truth, then, Kabaka Pyramid, the youth, them, a King Selassie, the youth, them, a salute, then, and I say, big up to Hot 78. Let them know, said this a fire of the blaze And burn Babylon, and yes, we burn them at the stake And red a fire blaze from the sun, them in my state Come on, copy from me, me are the real president And make them know, say me are the real resident And I and I have burned them down to the sediment And I and I have step on the rhythm once again And burn them again from Miami, go to Kingston And make them know, said the fire me a bring sun And then them can't stop the progress And I tell them we have burned them with no stress And straight freestyle out for my brain And make them know, say, Babylon them insane And right I know them off see the youth them going right down the drain But we take them off of the street and the lane Tell them say Give the youth them some money Make them build up them business And Babylon them off the witness And I tell them uplift them And I and I say we have to go shift them The consciousness in the brain and the teaching And make them know say the heights here we reaching And everything in the book them we seeking And I tell the get a youth to do some reading hey, And get the knowledge and all the information And I and I I tried this from creation And Rastafari big up the black nation And I and I not deal with separation So from your black, from your white, from your Latino I met them no the vibes we are bringing up Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try with this one I just a couple of bars with this one Alright Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then. Once again, yo. Once again, yo. All right, 
At 78, I'm never gonna be a slave to them system. Rasta na look na work in a them business. Never gonna be a slave to them system. Lock sabro, not even get it twisted. Never gonna be a slave to them system. Seminars to blow for sin of wrist bling. Never gonna be a slave. I'm never gonna be a slave. Better to be brave. Okay, I am. We can't hear the rhythm, sir. <laughs> it's difficult, it's difficult. We can't hear the rhythm. Yeah, but sounds good. I'm gonna pass you. I'm gonna pass to Michelle Williams. Thanks a lot to BP Records. The video. Yeah, man. And you can check it. Sounds good, sounds good, my friend. All right, give thanks. Yeah, man, big up to Michelle. Big up to the whole VP family. Nice of the dance. Oh, no, and I go on good in the world. Love the support we're getting for the song, you know? Okay, continue with the interview. I, I know you don't have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, talking, t tell us about your your last album, produced by the iconic Damian Marley Jr. Gang. <laughs> yeah, Contraband, you know, it's, it was a great experience working with Damian. You know, he's one of my key influences over the years as as a pioneer for the the reggae dance uh, hip hop fusion sound you know what i mean half a tree album welcome to jam rock album even stone hill them them albums that inspire we over the years and give we whole hip hop creativity so to work with him was a great privilege working with the whole mali family i feel big up to steve as well who, who helped out on a couple tracks recorded some at his studio too and, and but most of it at Damien's studio you know it's just a family vibes we play football together you know we hold all enough joy together and just reason about all kind of things and you know the creation process is really smooth working with him you know he is he's a he's a producer where make beats and the mpc and thing and then cut up samples and all of them kind of things stuff that we we learn how to do you know what i mean from from hip-hop culture and a lot of them kind of stuff too so it's just so much in alignment with with the way how me and him look at music together and, you know it was just a great project contraband big song reggae music you know over nine million views on on youtube right now and the album definitely was a success you know what i mean I'm, Looking forward to working on the second album with Damien. And that's why I'm here in Miami now doing some work and thing. And it's just a great vibe, you know? Okay, I love this song. The beat. Yeah, man. Black Starline Reggae. Select a all corner. DJ Alakon and his carry kill and me said don't know already keep the smoke and the danger burning around non-stop in a play music. Yo, Mr. King of Fire done representing for the Black Star Line Reggae. Blaze up! More fire! Okay, talking about this song, I gonna I gonna tell you this, this it, it was the first song that I heard from Kawaka Pyramid. When I love it. Love. That's why I ask him to the jingle, sing a little <laughs> bit of this this tune. You yeah, can't be divided, you know. And shirts. Big song. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. That was the first song here from Kavaka. Yes, yes, because you know there nice. is a lot of a lot of, of our artists. And I, when when was the that that tune? Uh, I think it was like 2013. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. After of that, I I started to to studying every every everything about Kabaka Pyramid. <laughs> nice. Yes, <laughs> yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Yes, yes. Some producer from out of France did that, that yeah, one, from, you know? Yes, from France. Yeah. Okay, thank. Can, can you can you tell us about the the song? I'm gonna look at this song. Uh, well done about the polit the politicians and and the government yeah, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just want to talk about the whole political situation in a Jamaica, but from a humorous perspective, you know. But at the same time, very serious, you know. So we use we use sarcasm and and congratulate them for the job them doing for mash down the country and for destabilize the, the country and and you know what I mean we just feel like there hasn't been enough um, economic growth for the people over the years that we've been so called independent so that's why we do songs like that and address the social issues them you know and and that was the first time working with Damon as well. You know, the first production that, that he sent me and I was in Jamaica at the time and recorded it, wrote it and recorded it same time. And yeah, it's that really kickstart the whole vibe with me and Damien working together, you know? Okay, my friend, uh, let's pass to the to the next question. Tell us about the your last song is Nice Up The Dance. The iconic dancehall amp up them. Yeah, so so VP, you know, through Jeremy Harding reached out to me because they were working on the dancehall anthems project. And they, they wanted to redo some classic songs with young artists. Well, not just young artists, but, you know, you know artists who, who nowadays doing music and thing. And they, they sent me a list of songs and I actually chose that one as one that I felt I could execute, you know, by Michigan and Smiley, obviously, original Real Rock Studio and Rhythm. And it's a, it's a song that I always freestyle when I'm on tour anyway. You know, I always do it with, with reggae music. I do a little freestyle and the band would play real rap. You know, so it was a song that I was familiar with. So I definitely wanted to try out that one. And it turned out very well. I recorded it at Jeremy Harding's studio. Obviously, he's a legendary producer with Sean Paul over the years. And many other classic productions, Playground, Rhythm and all of them Rhythm there. You know, and it was a great vibe working with him and we love the video. I love how the video turned out. After I did the video, I got really excited about the song and yeah, do it very well, you know. The video this is is so nice. You you wear a um, what's the name? <laughs> Can you help me there? Oh with with, with the, the hat and them thing they like the throwback the throwback look like Peter Tash style, you know? Yes, yes, my friend. Yeah, yeah good, good, good song. I love it. I love it. Yeah, man, give thanks. Kawaka, can you can can you tell us about the this movement? It calls reggae revival. What's the means for the audience of Hot 78? And yeah, well, reggae revival is a name that the people gave to the movement coming out of Jamaica around the time of you know me, Chronic's protege. Dre Island, Janine, Kelisa. You know, a bunch of those artists started putting out music around the same time and we all had a unity, you know what I mean? And still have a unity, but them time there, it was really present, you know, in, in, in people's faces and just the, the strength that we had together, sharing the stage together and collaborating on music and performing with our bands. I think people love the fact that We used to tour the world and we were, well, we still do it, but as young artists touring with bands, going to Europe and to America and to these places, and even Costa Rica, we came very early with our bands, you know what I mean? And, and it was just a great vibe and that, that's really what it come down to. People felt like it was a resurgence of the energy from like Bob Marley them days and, and Black Uhuru and, and, and them times there as well too, so. You know, it was just a, it was a great time in the music. Okay, my friend, just two more questions. Uh, can you tell us about your African pride, my friend? About your message of yeah. nationals? Yeah, equal man. Rights? I mean, well, well, it's really, it's really Rastafari bring 
bring that that African consciousness because we never we never learn much about Africa in schools and things like that and you know we, we feel like we were shortchanged by our, our education when it comes to that and definitely it's true Rasta culture I've, I've, I've learned to love myself as an African love my blackness and be proud of that and learn about African history African culture African spirituality and apply it to my life you know so it's really reggae music it's sizzler music was really the most instrumental thing for me to change that shift towards that African consciousness and yeah we still try to do that for other people with the music and bring those messages in the music so maybe somebody else can grow up and say Kabaka Pyramid music help him to be be more African conscious just like how Sizzler did it for me you know Yes, it's the same vibe of me. That's why the name of the of the show, the Black Star Line, because I, I yes I, I, I am love the of, name, man. Yeah, I'm fan of Marcus Garvey, and I apply this 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 name to the to the show because the intention of the show is make make unite all the people around the world, and yeah, and you can go at the ship. <laughs> to the to the paradise of music that's the you know the idea yeah man yeah that's the black for star. sure yeah that's the black star line radio that's show. the philosophy black star line radio. yeah man love Select that okay my friend um, the last the last the last question is can you let a positive message to all the audience of hat 78 my friend Yeah, man, for sure. I just want to big up everybody in a Costa Rica, in a Rasta Rica, yes. you know, who's supporting the music and supporting the station. You know, big up to yourself for playing roots music, conscious music, music with a message. You know, that's why we're here. And I just want to encourage the people them to love themselves and love them family and always be good because at the end of the day is how good we are to people. It's the, I've got to determine the value of our life, you know. So definitely, just I encourage the ones to support the music and looking forward to as soon as this COVID thing over, you know, we are look forward to returning to Costa Rica soon. You know what I mean? And definitely just want to say Pura Vida to the whole family, you pura know? Pura Vida. Okay, my friend, thanks a lot for, the, for your time. We had a great time in here. You are a humble artist, a humble person. And that's good. That's good, my friend. I hope to meet Give you. Thanks. I hope to meet you one day in here or in Jamaica. You are invited to here to the to the studio. We can have a good time in here. Share music. Yeah, man, for sure, man. And definitely, I'm gonna put you singing on the beats of Boot and Clan, 36 Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we could do it, man. Stuff like that because I I like to make remix. I play I play I I, I make like a remix. With the with vinyls remix. and I put a lot of, of of singles, instrumentals, and I love to play music for our artists. And yeah, day, man, already, man. That that's that's what I love doing too. That's how I start in the music, you know. Okay, my friend. Uh, have a good have a good night out there in Miami. <laughs> yeah, man. Bless up, you know. <laughs> okay. I go watch the Miami Heat now. Oh, the Miami Heat, yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. Man. I forgot the the last question. Uh, what's coming soon for Kavaka Pyramid? A new project, we're, new album? I'm working. I'm working on the the, the second album. It's, it's still very early, early stages. But I want to put out a mixtape soon. So that's the next thing you'll probably see. You know, I have some more singles coming out and collaborations too. But the next project should be a mixtape. Okay. Perfect. We share, we share in here in Hot 78. Don't forget to send us all the yeah, material, man. my friend. Definitely.